Hello, everyone. Mission 7. Gods and Monsters. As soon as you start the level, look down and you'll see a body contained in the black box. This is right at the very start of the level, so you don't get confused. Now, we're going to carry on just about five feet in front. You'll find the poster on the floor. Five feet from that, you'll see a red container above you. Turn around once you go past it, you'll find the data pad one of three. <sighs> From that last location, turn around and continue on. Once you power kick, actually this is probably my first power kick I've ever done. Because I think it's completely bloody useless. It doesn't do anything. And pick up the black box before you go through the bus. Once you go through the bus, you'll see a car that falls down. Carry on. Climb the ledge or jump over, sorry. You'll get a secondary objective complete. Not sure what we've done, but we did something. But as soon as you get this light scrambling scene, there's an option to go right or left. Head to your left hand side. I'm not sure if it matters if you go right, but I went left. Actually it does matter. And you'll find the um the black box right there. Once you get into daylight area you'll see a ship that flies past go right and the only route you can go and you'll see a red box on the upper level off to your right the nano suit will be right there right next to it and make sure you um, purchase all of the nano suit upgrades and you should get the achievement of course I'm on PC the origin version or oranges origin version it doesn't have any achievements but from that last location of the Nano Suit, pick up the um, data pad on the lower level. Shortly later, you will follow the objective and you get another checkpoint. Go the only way you can, drop down, and very close by you'll see the black box in a red container. Or create. From that last location, you want to head right and jump up. Move along this ledge until you have to jump over to your left. Once you move up here, so this will be a thing we have to move left now. So you jump down and jump back up to your left. Go to the very top and carry on around until you see like a garden or green area. I say at first when I entered this area, I thought it was a garden or something. Because all, all I seen was green stuff everywhere, green flowers and. Actually, it's not really a garden, is it? It's pretty destroyed, actually. As soon as you um, see the jeep, turn left, drop down, and you'll find the final collectible of all of Crisis 3. See you guys and girls in another video guide. No idea what's next.